Hi there, my name is Anne. In this video, I'm going to try Bella journaling for the first time. I've seen it all over my timeline on Pinterest and Instagram and all over YouTube. I found it very interesting how people just decorated these books, these kinds of books, and how they made such an aesthetic pleasing journal of it. And they seem so cool and I definitely wanted to try it. But full disclaimer in this video, I've never tried it before and nothing about this is aesthetically pleasing. My handwriting is awful, like I can barely read it half of the time. So that will be interesting. Um, this bullet journal, it's uh, I found it very pretty. I got it in the HEMA, which is a shop in Belgium. And I got it for like five bucks, which isn't that expensive. I've seen like people do this and they say, oh yeah, this Bella journal cost me 20 bucks. I'm like, what? Why would you spend that much money on a bullet journal? It's just a bullet journal. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get right into it. The first thing that I did was make a test page on the last page of my bullet journal. I thought this would be helpful for me so I could see if the pens would bleed through the page. But I forgot it the entire time I used my bullet journal. So a great idea, but I just need to think about it <laughs> a little bit more before I do something because my pages bled through a lot, unfortunately. After that, I went back to the front page of my book and you know, you see all those little bullet journals and they have this first page where it says this belongs to, well, mine didn't have that, so I created my own. And because the cover was blue and gold, I used a gold pen to recreate the cover of my journal. After that, I made an index page. I didn't fill it in in the beginning, only until the end I fill it in. It is helpful because if you're looking for something, you can just turn back to your index page and find what you're looking for. After that, I made my very first page, which was video ideas for this YouTube channel. I just used to have a note on my phone in which I would write all my video ideas, but it became a little bit long and a little bit unorganized, so I thought, hmm, great idea to start with that. And if this looks familiar to any other YouTuber you might have seen doing this, it's because I stole this from Chloe Rose Art. She did this and I thought it was adorable. So. I'm also doing the play button thingy <laughs> at the top and I just wanted to like fill a page a little bit more up so I made those half corners for it so it does fill a page somewhat you don't see it here but I will show it later that I actually did fill up my first page almost with those corners it looks a little bit more lived in I guess I don't know how to say it <laughs> And next is my savings page. This year I want to actually keep track of my savings, but just like the end total of every single month to see if I'm in red, I guess, <laughs> or if I'm saving all right, because I do have some things which are going to cost a lot because I'm going to Disneyland with my sister this year, probably in May. I want to save up for better lighting for my YouTube stuff. I want to do a lot of things that will cost money, so I think it's a good idea to start saving some things and keeping track if I'm actually saving or not. So that's what this page for is. And I'm going to write the months a lot in this video. If you're wondering why you recognize some of them and some not, it's because I'm writing this in Dutch, because I speak Dutch. And I'm not gonna do the, this in English, but Oh, I'm so stupid because I did the months in Dutch, but then in and out is in Dutch and then Toto also is in Dutch and then at the end of this page I did it again in Dutch, so it's like two languages at the same time. And 
I tried those little dollar signs in the beginning and at first I wanted to just do euros because that's my currency and then I didn't work out that great so oh no now I have dollars I guess great job and great great job And then I made the thing that you see in every single bullet journal, but which is very helpful for me, and that's a mood tracker. I think those are very helpful because you can actually get a sense of how your month is going overall. And those are very helpful for me because I do have depression and I get depressive episodes sometimes. So it's good for me to see those days and look back at, oh, I had a lot of depressive episodes that month or something else and that's something that I can take with me to my I don't know how to say it, psychiatr? Psy, psy blah blah blah, I'll put the word in here I don't know how to say it in English so mood trackers are definitely helpful for me I will see if I will continue this, I hope so because it will help so and if you're watching this in the future keep track of your mood <laughs> I also found that most people just use like good day, normal day, okay day, sad day, bad day. And I'm like, there are so much more emotions for that. And I found like this one photo online in which it had good day, normal day, best day ever, but then also sad. And then I'm a sick day and for me depressed day. And so there are way more emotions than just five. And sometimes you don't just fit in into good, bad or any other thing because just because you're stressed doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad day or just because you're sick doesn't necessarily mean that everything is bad so I thought it was a very smart idea from someone to just do something a little bit more then I wanted to go to the next page but I saw that my mood tracker bled through the page because I was stupid and didn't look at my test page <laughs> And so I moved my goals and my dreams to the same page. And you would think that those are the same thing, but it is not. My goal is to get 100 subscribers by the end of 2020. That would be awesome because I have four right now. And one of those is a follow for a follow. <laughs> but my dreams, I didn't write them here. I will show you later. But one of my dreams really is to just be comfortable in my art and like actually be really happy with my art. And another one is to be able to travel to wherever I want to go without having to be afraid of costs. Like, I'm pretty sure that's everybody's dream, but like, I so want to go to crazy countries. Like, I'm very fortunate and have been able to travel a lot thanks to my parents. But there is a difference between like going with your parents and actually being able to afford it yourself. So I hope one day i will be able to if i just could travel like once to a very far away uh, country like for me canada or uh, the us i so want to go to new york or to anywhere really <laughs> so this is for me to like look at my dreams again and think to myself one day i will go there The next one is just a small page, it's um, for my writing because I am writing a book and I use that in quotation marks because there's not a lot of writing going on. I think the last time that I wrote was November or something, but I have an outline for a book. So I have an entire like timeline of when things should happen in my book. I just need to write it and that's the hard part, <laughs> like I'm only at chapter one. <laughs> But it's an idea and this page is also for like fan fiction because yes, I am one of those people. I really like fan fiction. So uh, every single time that I come up with an idea, I can put that here because most of the time they're like small tropes. So yeah. And the next page is like my, like I said, the places I want to travel to and my wish list and books to read. This page is just wrong 
this is the time where I become tired in doing this because one, it wasn't supposed to be places to travel to, it's places I want to travel to. The wish list misses an age and books to read is supposed to be books I am reading. Which list was just stupid on my part and books to read was supposed to be books I am reading because I wanted to write all the months on a list and after every single month I would write the books that I've read and at the end of the year I would count the total of books I've read. So books to read just doesn't make sense because it is a list of the books I am going to read. So I'm just stupid. This space was a mess but I did use my washi tape. And I'm very happy about that, so yay. <laughs> the next one is just a year overview of this year, 2020. Um, it's just for me, so whenever I have big things coming up, so like my exams, that will take the whole month of June and I am going to a concert too, hopefully. So it's just an overview because while you're using your bullet journal, you don't have, for example, it's now January, so I don't have March already written down, but if I have something to do in March, I want to be able to remember that. So I made all these columns to see better of what I'm going to do over the year. And for example, my exam take up the entire month of June. I'm also going on a great trip again in July, because summer, and my parents and I, and my sister, always go to a crazy place, which I'm very excited for, and I really hope I don't have to redo my exam, because that means that we aren't going to go on a very big trip, and that would make me very, very sad. So Anne, study, please. I wanna go on a trip. <laughs> And then for the months themselves, I decided to just write the month in and just write a little calendar at the top of the corner of all the single dates on them. And if I have something important to do, I will mark that date. Thanks again, Chloe Rose Art, for that suggestion, because that was awesome. So for example, the 27th and the 31st are marked and because that are my two last exams. And that's all that I have planned for my bullet journal, for now. So that was my first time trying bullet journaling. I thought it went pretty great. This is my index page filled up right now for how I have it right now. And I really liked it. Like here I have, as I said, written down all my video ideas. I'm just going to skip over that. <laughs> I haven't filled this one in. I, I did my first day, which was a very productive day because I filmed this, <laughs> so good. And yeah, I just try to do different stuff, have my goals and dreams filled in. Nothing written yet on the writing. And as you can see, it bled through a lot and I used the Stabilo pens for that. So I need to watch out when I use them because they bleed through a lot. And oh, just, just this page, I, I filled in the H. Yeah, great job of me, I know. <laughs> and I still have a lot to learn because when this isn't that pretty and just why can't I count? This one is bigger than that one. This one isn't the same. And looking at this, I could have made it so much bigger because I have still so much space. So could have made them. <laughs> bigger but yeah seeing I, I have a lot to learn and how i'm going to use these is like i will fill it in the days that i'm using it so maybe not every single day will be in it and every single time that i am going to plan out a video for this channel i will write this in this book so i don't need to have like 30 other different <laughs> pages because i just used to plan out my videos on scrap paper so this will be good this will be helpful so that was my bullet journal i hope you liked watching this i will definitely give you guys an update at the end of the year of how my bullet journaling went thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye guys